Mission 10 is a movement of students to take the gospel to the entire world. Um, we believe that if students will pray for the nations, if they have a chance to go on short-term trips to see the nations, that they will be far more likely uh, to embrace a long-term call to go and serve as missionaries among the nations of the world. The root and the heartbeat of this school is missions, and uh, so that's very attractive. The vision is attractive. Uh, the vision of taking the gospel to every nation around the world is attractive because it's what God has commanded us to do. That's probably one of the coolest parts about Mission 10 is we provide an opportunity uh, for students to get that, to get a heart for the nations, to learn about other places, and to see where the needs are so that we can spend our lives there. When I was in India the last few years, the Lord began to really just deal with my heart but because I saw a real disconnect. In one sense, I was on the mission field and I needed people. And I kept thinking, why can't we get people here? It got open a door for me to just go back and just challenge college students, Bible college students, and our Summers of God Bible schools. God, if you just give me an opportunity, I think maybe if, they, if I could tell them about the need, they would come. Brother Chad Jeremy came in, stepped in as the missions director role. It was a transition between uh, Dr. Watson. And so Chad Jeremy first kind of coined it midway between the term that I was uh, leading in the fall semester and the spring semester, and that's where he came up with Mission 10. How do we get students to go as missionaries to the countries? The very first thing is you've got to mobilize them to pray and to pray passionately and, and to make it a personal burden. And one of the ways we felt we could do that was to uh, randomly assign every country of the world to a student and ask them to pray for that nation and adopt it in prayer. God wants every nation of the world to know Him and to worship Him. And for that to happen, it can't just be a short-term trip, but it's got to be a church plant. I have a passion for souls and to reach the lost, so I, well, it felt like God kind of threw me into this position. But now the reason why I continue on and the reason why I continue to serve, this is my second term as the VP of World Outreach, is because um, I believe God is doing something uh, radical. Uh, a movement happening, not just within our school, but around the nation and of course in the world. People who get into Mission 10 are going to be affected. There is no way that you could not be. It's, this is an amazing task. This is a God-given vision. Many people come out of this understanding the need for mission. Some people come out with a call for vocational ministry in the mission field. After a while, your heart begins to, to just be burdened for all of the things you see and all the things you hear, and all of a sudden it's a part of you that wants to make a difference and, and believes that God can move. If every Assemblies of God Bible School would partner together for the sake of God's glory and taking this gospel to the nations, I believe if we work together with a little bit of strategy and a little bit of planning, we could literally be planting a church in every nation of the world every year. It's possible, it's doable, and uh, I believe God is calling us to not just ask the question, what can I do, um, but to ask the question, what does he want done?